All right, Anthony Marklow, we're a month away from the Bacardi Par 3 Championships that will take place at the Fairmont Southampton Turtle. Turtle Hill Golf Course. Turtle Hill Golf Course. Um, how are things shaping up for the event? Well, it's, uh, it's quite ironic that you and I are talking today, but it doesn't seem four years ago that we were talking about the launch of this exciting event. And the event this year has just gone crazy. Um, we, we're going to have a full field. We're 10 or 15 spots away, and we're saving those for some uh, professionals from Europe who are uh, expressing an interest in coming down. Uh, clearly, that's all led up by the uh, acknowledgement that uh, Tony Jacklin, the Ryder Cup captain from Europe back in the 80s, has, uh, is going to be the guest of honor this year, and, and Charlie Reimer from the Golf Channel are coming. So we've got a really exciting field. Um, lots of great lady players. The defending champions are all returning. So... It's culminating in a really nice tournament for this year, and uh, clearly our sponsors are delighted, and the golf course is shaping up really well. Now, last year we were treated to an, a fantastic finish, uh, a playoff that, uh, like none other, um, when you start talking about a par three, which is kind of chip pot, um, that type of excitement, how, do, how does the golf course pull that out of these people? Well, I mean, I'm sure most of the, the, the audience watched the um, tournament, the Waste Management Tournament in Phoenix and uh, in Arizona on the regular tour and saw how that 16th hole stadium, par three, erupted every time players were playing. Well, I'm not suggesting that every golf hole at our course is like that, but when you think about the excitement of hitting the ball close to the pin and making a birdie and getting a reaction, We've got 18 opportunities, and uh, with our golf course final hole finishing where all the crowd is, we're creating our little mini um, amphitheater type environment. And, you know, to have playoffs in all three divisions last year for winners was something, and top with the hole in one that we had last year by uh, Tom Bayless. This year I'm hoping for even more excitement. I may be even a hole in one to win the tournament. Now, Tom burst onto the scene, and then you saw him in Bermuda quite often after that. I think he, he fell in love with Bermuda. What other youngsters can you see um, taking part this year? Well, we're hoping that uh, Ryan Roberts will return from his college golf college uh, education system for the tournament for spring break. And uh, we're hoping that a couple of the young uh, 19, 20-year-old amateurs in Bermuda that are looking for places on the national teams will play. Uh, as far as the men's amateurs, Jared Dillis and Nick Mansell um, back to, to play. And uh, all of our local golf professionals, Dwayne Pierman, Daniel Augustus, Chaka Da Silva, these guys all want this title. You know, Daniel's the only one that's got the title. And as the tournament grows and becomes more popular, I think uh, the people that play it in the early years are going to be rewarded long term. So it's an exciting time. Something new this year. Uh, is that we're actually going to have a big dinner on the Saturday night, which we're opening up to all golfers in Bermuda. It's going to be an audience with Tony Jacklin, and Charlie Reimer from the Golf Channel is going to host the event. So if you're a golfer and you like hearing about fun stuff and you like comedy, it, it'll be a night not to be missed, and tickets will go on sale very shortly. So this could turn into Bermuda's annual awards banquet for golf. So there's lots of excitement around that March time. Um, the Bermuda Open the week before, if you're a golfer and you're from overseas and you're tired of looking at 20 inches of snow, Bermuda is the place to be in March. And piggybacking off of the Bermuda Open, um, this 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 fourth year, um, the previous three years was something that uh, we've never seen before, which was a lot of excitement. Um, your team putting together the golf course, working the golf shop, and just how do you pull all that together? I work a lot of hours. I make no apologies for it, but I love what I do. Um, I have a great team. Uh, I have a brand new superintendent, Chris Fortnum, who's a Bermudian that left Bermuda 20 years ago. We convinced him to come back and uh, impart his talents. I have a tremendous all Bermudian team on our golf operations department at Turtle Hill, and I get tremendous support from Fairmont. So it's a, it's a great mix. Um, the PGA of Bermuda are going to get behind the event this year. The BGA have really embraced the event. We worked well together to combine the Bermuda Open and the Par 3 at the same time of the year. So there's, n there's absolutely no issue why this shouldn't be a success. And going forward, I'm starting to get inquiries from places that are a long way away wanting to hold similar type events with the culmination being their champion comes to Bermuda. So kind of in effect, but on, on purpose, we've created an opportunity to create a worldwide tournament to have the finals in Bermuda. I'm personally very excited about that. Now, last year you were graced with having officials from the Grand Slam of Golf 
uh, take part. Uh, any chance they are coming back? Yeah, Bob and Dave have expressed an interest, and naturally with our relationship with the hotel uh, at Fairmont, they're you know trying to organize their itinerary. PJ of Canada officials who came last year, mm -hmm. they're coming as well. Um, and in fact, yesterday I had an inquiry uh, from Ronan Rafferty, who played under Tony Jacklin on the Ryder Cup in Europe. Uh, I had an inquiry from him to come and play in both tournaments. Bermuda's starting to get a, no a name for competitive golf, and the Grand Slam has been a tremendous help. Um, we're just all thrilled that a tournament on a par three golf course has turned into something that's starting to capture the imagination of a lot of, uh, a lot of people. We have players coming this year as far as Ireland and Austria. That's, pretty, uh, that's something to be pretty proud of, that your name of your event, and we have to thank Bacardi for their sponsorship. It's just been phenomenal. Um, the dinner on, everybody's looking forward to the dinner on Saturday night. Getting a chance to meet the Ryder Cup captain or somebody who helped change golf the way he did in Europe, like Jack Nicklaus did in the U.S., that's something special. It doesn't happen every month. All right, well, good luck, and we look forward to the event. Looking forward to having you play. All right.